Our window of opportunity is closing. Without better planning, 2020 could be the darkest winter in modern history. Now at five, a stark warning to Congress from the former head of the government agency charged with developing vaccines. Dr. Rick Bright's testimony comes just one week after he filed a whistleblower complaint. Meanwhile, President Trump went to Pennsylvania to announce a plan to ramp up domestic production of personal protective equipment. CBS 4 Skylar Henry is at the White House with more. Needed us and we rose to the occasion. The owner of a major U.S. surgical mask manufacturing company told a House subcommittee the Trump administration ignored his offers to ramp up production in the early months of the coronavirus pandemic. The DOD, the VA, the CDC and HHS could have worked together to secure America's mask supply. Whistleblower Dr. Rick Bright of the National Institutes of Health echoed those concerns before the same panel earlier, adding that 2020 would be the darkest winter in modern history if more isn't done at the federal level to combat the virus. We do not still have enough personal protective equipment to manage our health care workers and protect them from influenza and COVID-19. We still do not have the supply chains ramped up for the drugs and vaccines, and we still don't have have plans in place and how we distribute those drugs and vaccines. Bright filed a whistleblower complaint claiming he was transferred from directing a vaccine team at the Department of Health and Human Services after he pushed back on the wide use of anti-malaria drugs chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine. When I learned that there is a directive to make it more broadly available, not under close supervision of a physician, I was... When was that? When HHS says Dr. Bright's complaint is full of one-sided arguments and misinformation. President Trump continues to call Bright a, quote, disgruntled employee. I never met him. I don't want to meet him. But I watched him, and he looked like an angry, disgruntled employee who, frankly, according to some people, didn't do a very good job. The president traveled to Pennsylvania to tour a personal protective equipment manufacturing facility and to announce an initiative to revamp the national strategic stockpile to make it less reliant on supplies produced in China. Under my order, it will now also invest in our country, helping to bring vital factories, pharmaceutical producers, and most importantly, jobs back home where they belong. The president says he wants to replenish the national stockpile by the fall. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. The president also says he'll be making an announcement next week on the World Health Organization. The U.S. had fr uh, frozen funding to the international agency last month, while its initial response to the COVID-19 outbreak is still being investigated.